this live special edition of the Taz Show cover WrestleMania. Just watch this main event. Watch Brock Lesnar retain. Shocked everyone, including me, that Universal title. We got big blood, too. Hey, we're coming to you live from the Quicken Loan Studios. National Mortgage Lender, Quicken Loans. Apply simply, understand fully, and a mortgage confidently. So, yeah, they shocked the world here with this bad boy. Brock Lesnar retaining his championship. As I broadcast you live right now on CBS Sports Radio and all our great affiliates across this country on Sirius XM Channel 206. That's on the app. Also, CBS Sports HQ and TazShow.com. And, uh, you know, uh, right now, just uh, everybody's shocked there in New Orleans, what just happened. We just saw Big Blood. We saw Brock Lesnar take the, the gloves off his hand and then drive that elbow into the head of... Um, into the upper hairline fall forehead of Roman Reigns and got big color. Seemed like he hard weighed him. It looked like it. That's what means, you know, straight blood. Crimson mask, as they call it. Looked like Roman. They did what they call a false finish. Straight, hardcore spear from Roman Reigns with the blood. His whole face was red. You don't see this much in WWE anymore with the big blood. And that thing you know out of nowhere, F5 by Lesnar retains his Universal Championship. That's big. That's big. So they either they worked everyone, which I don't think that's the case. I think he's probably going to drop it, meaning Brock, the title. Maybe tomorrow on Raw or somewhere. This whole blood thing, I'm looking at what's going on with Roman. It, he must have a – I don't know what happened. Either he, he got cut on his hairline or I, I, um, I'm i not sure if, if it was – if he did but he had a, if he did business on his own or if he, if he got hard weight. I, I, I didn't see the initial thing when I saw the forearms – but then they did a little cutaway, so that might have been he did some business. But let's leave it at that. And the phone number, if you want to call the show and talk about WrestleMania, because now it's over. It's Dunsky, uh, 855-212-4227. That's 855-2124-CBS. So uh, we'll get talking WrestleMania with you guys in more detail, now being at the show is actually uh, over. So that all being said, let's speak to Andrew in Queens. That's New York, by the way. You're on a special edition of the Taz Show, my friend, on CBS Sports Radio. What do you say, buddy? Well, first time, long time, Jones over here, Taz. Oh, first time, long time. I wish I had my ding. I don't have my uh, my sound effects store. All right, well, what's going on, big guy? Well, you know, uh, I was really surprised by the finish of the whole show. I mean... I really thought, like everyone else, Roman was going to win. Yep. And th- and I think they surprised us all. But I wanted to know if it's too little too late. Because to me, it kind of reminded me of the Austin turn when he was bleeding with Brett in the submission. And that kind of shifted the fans towards him. So I'm thinking if maybe they're trying to do the same with Roman. But after maybe three or four years of all this strong push for him, mm. will the fans now get behind him as a face? Uh, Well, it could be. I... I think they're just going to – I think the way WWE goes into stuff, and Andrew, uh, we thank you for calling, buddy. Appreciate it. I, I think WWE uh, – yeah, you see guys turn heel, baby face, which is for those that are new to these terms. That's good guy, bad guy, okay? So I, I, I don't think that's what they're doing with Roman Reigns. I mean, again, I couldn't hear the commentary because I was live on the radio here. So if I heard the commentary, maybe I'd think different. But from watching the video, the visual end of it, I don't think that's what they're going to do. Um, I, I think they're going to leave Roman in that lane that he's in, and I think he's going to get that title. I don't know what they're doing. What I, I like you, dude. I thought I thought it was going to happen uh, tonight, but it didn't happen. It was a very it was a very surprising finish, and the match to me looked like it was a pretty good match. It took some crazy bumps there. You know, the F five on the table that Roman uh, took by Brock was pretty crazy. Hey, uh, Dan in Illinois, you're on a special edition of the Tash Show on CBS Sports Radio. What do you say, Danny? Hey, uh, so I want to talk about uh, Brock and uh roman for a second yes um i have a feeling that this is gonna all lead to chicago rock already have break break in cm punk's record and uh roman's gonna win the money in the bank cash it in and end this uh hellish uh monster streak that uh that rock is uh set it could be i i it could be um do you want to see that? I'm curious. Do you want to see them go that long and go Brock and Roman Wall? I personally don't want to see it anymore. I, I was well, I, fine I, with him getting the title tonight, and, and I love Brock. He's my friend, but I, I'm a little yeah. tired of the angle. i got to be honest with you. <laughs> well, I think, yeah, I think it, it'll bring, like, so much heat on Brock, just having the, the, the strap for so long and then having him break in, like, CM Punk's record. 
Mm. Then also, Money in the Bank is going to be in Chicago this year on top of it. Plus, UFC is also going to be in Chicago, so CM Funk is probably going to hear about this like nonstop on top of it. Yeah, I, you so know, then, Dan, I don't, I don't know. I mean, you could be right, bro, but I don't think that CM Punk or any of his thoughts or his records involve with any of the, I don't think they care, but thank you for calling. I mean, I, I respect what you're saying. I don't, my instincts and my gut tell me that's not the case. You could be right, and if you're right, I'll say you're right. I mean, I don't think that's the case. I don't, I, I think CM Punk for the WWE is in the rearview mirror. Mirror. I mean, CM Punk's gonna, he's gonna fight soon, uh, uh, UFC. Uh, Ike, when is he, do you know when he's supposed to fight? Supposed to be June 9th, UFC 225. His opponent is announced. I can't remember the cat's name, though. It, uh, I think it's Mike Sanchez. Let I me think, double check. I think you might be right. I, that rings a bell. Yeah, I'm not sure. But, so, I mean, that's what I mean. That's, you know, Punk's doing his thing. He's trying to evolve in that world of, of MMA. And I don't think he's going to be, you know, messing around. Uh, but I, I I don't think they care about the record. I, I, they might, but I don't, I don't think they do. I just don't. I think they, you know, I, I, I thought Brock was going to be going away. That's what I heard. I mean, his deal is coming to an end. But. Maybe maybe uh, Paul Brock and the WWE were working us. I don't think I don't think what's his name was working us. Uh, Dana White he's saying that oh, Brock's coming back to the UFC soon. So I mean that's he's got to train for that Brock. That's a whole different type of training. Hey Nick in Michigan, you're on a special edition of the Taz Show right here on CBS Sports Radio. What's up, Nick? How's it going? Ah uh, yeah, doing a radio show. What's going on with you? Uh, good. Uh, I just was kind of picking up back off the other guy uh, with uh, Brock and Roman. I mean, I just I felt like tonight was kind of a waste leading up to that end match, just because I mean it's the same thing we've seen over and over again. Hold on a minute, wait, 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 Nick, let me slow you down, brother. Did you you did not no, like this? No, let me just ask you a question. You, you didn't like the match? Uh, I didn't. I I just felt like you know it's kind of the same thing I've seen over and over again with you know Brock coming out and then you know destroying you know whoever's in his way and then he's out again and then we don't see him for you know another couple months. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think. Brock's electric, and you know right. I've liked him before, but I just think this is getting to a point where I'm a little tired of it. I'd like to see something new. No, I don't blame you, and I I do think he's going he's going to be going away. I I just think they wanted yeah. to swerve. I just Nick, I think they wanted to swerve the audience tonight, and they, I think they did. I think they want everybody. Yeah. Everybody thought that, Brock, including me, thought Brock was doing you know the honors and losing the title, and and they didn't do that. So. I think some fans might be pissed off because, you know, some fans, Nick, when they think it's going to go one way and it doesn't, they get mad. Yeah. Is that like you? No, I agree. <laughs> Are you like uh, that? <laughs> no, no. I mean, I wasn't angry. Like, it's just I wanted – I expected different. I mean, okay, okay. I, I, I like the curveballs, obviously. It keeps it exciting, but, you know. That's the key. I, but I, I, I understand what you're saying about Brock. I mean, he is electric, but I understand. You know, you want something new. I, I get it. Nick, uh, I appreciate your calling, dude. Thanks very much. Uh, we're going to continue with our busy calls and have several guests, as I've mentioned, coming up uh, soon here. True. You know what I like, too, uh, Brian? I, I like the fact that they kind of um, – they swerved the audience a little bit. They swerved from the bottom. You know, like okay, what, what everybody and their mother thought that that Roman Reigns was going to become the universal, universal champ. That didn't happen. Everybody and their mother thought that either Daniel Bryan would turn on Shane or Shane would turn on Daniel Bryan. That didn't happen. You know, so they kind of they kind of swerved people a little bit, and I, yeah, I think no that's passion, good. Right? I think it's right? good, right? right yeah, I like that. I like that, too. Look, let's get right to that main event. I thought that was absolutely brilliant booking. And look, like anybody else, I've been as critical of Vince and the creative team as possible in the handling of Roman Reigns. I thought just even the handling of this WrestleMania build in general, I thought was very tame, very vanilla. When you consider the talent you know, in front of them, the, the pawns on the chessboard, but how beautiful and perfect was that type of swerve down the stretch where they had trolled us the entire main event match inside the dome. I don't know if you can hear it on the network. This crowd turned on this match so out of control from CM Punk chants to We Want Nicholas to two peace balls floating around. Every, every time Roman kicked uh, out of an F5, it built and you're starting to say, is Vince really that uh, tone deaf? Like, is, could this possibly be happening? Because I don't think I can remember in modern times a main event that had been set up a full year in advance where every decision that was made in the past year was set up for Roman to finally kick out of that F5 and win. Well, he didn't kick out of one F5, right? He kicked out about five, five of them. Yeah. That angered the crowd, but wow. 
You know what happened, Brian? Said, I couldn't, yes. Brian. Brian, I, I was on the air live, so I, I had a, we had the audio down in the studio, so I, I couldn't hear the, those things you saying happen. That's pretty funny, though. I couldn't hear it. I only oh. watched it. Yeah, I didn't hear it. This was going to be WrestleMania 20 all over again, Taz. This was going to be, you know, yeah. Brock Lesnar and Goldberg getting booed out of the building, and, <laughs> and I, I, it's just good to see that Vince has one more trick up his sleeve because I call this the most predictable main event WrestleMania since name the last one, right? Hogan Bundy. Name the last WrestleMania main event where you felt 100% you knew which guy was going to win and how he was going to do it. Right. Thank right. you, Vince, for having one more trick up your sleeve. Yeah, well, yeah, no, I mean, Vince, you know, Vince, he, 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 uh, the older he gets, the wiser he gets. Well, Brian, listen, man, I appreciate you jumping on here for a little bit, brother. Um, you know, tell people where they can find you on Twitter if you don't mind. Yeah, follow me at B Campbell CBS. Check me out weekly on the In This Corner podcast, wherever you find fine audio. So we've got to talk to some of the people here. Jeff in New Jersey. You are on the Taz CBS Sports Radio. What's up, man? Hey, Taz. Good moment. Good moment, my friend. How are you? I'm good. Uh, I just want to shout out Woo real quick. Uh, I just to ask you what you think about Lesnar and Roman ending that way because WWE wants it to culminate maybe at the Saudi Arabia show hmm. and crown Roman champ there, or maybe he wins the Rumble and wins that SummerSlam, or do you think Lesnar should go a different way? No, I, 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 I really think, Jeff, that, uh, and thank you for calling, buddy, I really think they should have switched it tonight. I mean, I, I, I think they'll probably go to, to Rumble um, because we know Lesnar's going to go back to UFC. I don't think Dana White would lie about something like that. He publicly said, yeah, no, he's coming back. We don't know when he's coming back because he's going to need to train. Brock's going to need to train completely different that. Different for that. So maybe, maybe it's true that Brock's contract was wrapping up. Maybe that's true. Uh, maybe it's true Paul Heyman's contract's wrapping up. Maybe that's all true. Okay, and maybe they did something called the 30-day extension or a 60-day extension. I've signed those with WWE where you get an extension on your deal because you can't work out a new deal or you're going to leave or whatever. There's a lot of different reasons why you do an extension. A lot of people don't know about extensions. I've signed them, so I know WWE does extensions. So that could be the case. I don't know. Um I was surprised, like a lot of you guys, that that it didn't happen. I don't see it going all the way to Rumble. I mean, but it could. I don't know. I I, I don't know. It, it, they they when you get swerved, now you got to start thinking. So they swerved everybody here. So we'll see. I mean, we could try and all speculate what they're gonna do, but it's, you know, <laughs> good luck because you know it, it's like a needle in a haystack. You know, trying to figure that out. Hey, Kyle on Strong Island, right here in New York. You're on the Taz Show on CBS Sports Radio. What's up, buddy? Hi. Right. Um, first of all, I actually thought Brock Lesnar was going to win the match at yeah. WrestleMania. Uh, oh, you, and, you, well, hold on. You're the guy. Huh? You're the one guy. <laughs> Everybody thought he's going to lose. <laughs> yeah. I actually thought that because if you remember, Bobby Lashley signed the WWE just to wrestle Brock Lesnar. Uh, where'd you hear that? Wait, wait, you, wait, say that one more time. He signed just a, I, I don't think you signed a one, a one match contract. Bobby Lashley, that's what no, no, not that. I remember like this. You really have to like watch the the sports network uh, on the fight network. He was doing a interview, and he said the only reason he would ever go back to WWE was to have true competition, and that true competition would be Brock Lesnar. Now I know it's not a one match deal. Right. He would do other things. Right. Of course. But from what I've heard, that they're going to keep Brock Lesnar a bit longer just to have that match between him and Lashley. Uh you could be right, Kyle. I know both of them personally. Uh, I have not mm-hmm. heard that. I'm just letting you know. Like I, I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong, dude. But I, that that could yeah. happen. I mean, I think that'd be a great match to see for sure. And Kyle, uh, thank you for calling. But I have not heard that. I mean, it, it could be. I mean, again, uh, people speculate, and that's cool. That's what wrestling fans do, and I think that's fun, and they think that's good. But sometimes you might read things online or whatever. I'm not saying that this young man just said that to me, but you could read things online and you can't believe what you read sometimes. And even if it's wrestlers saying it, they're saying it to, to work it. <laughs> so, you know, don't don't get hooked, you know. I mean, you, I mean, it's not the end of the world if you get hooked. But you know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, sometimes you got to just uh, roll with the punches a little bit. Hey, Drew, in Detroit, uh, you're on the Taz Show right here on CBS Sports Radio. What's up, Drew? How much? What's going on? How are you? How are you, brother? Good, good, good. So, wrapping up watching WrestleMania, I thought overall I thought it was pretty good. Um, as far as Brock Lesnar winning goes, my buddy brought up a good point. Um, from my understanding, you know, McMahon hates CM Punk, 
and he has one of the newer, longest title reigns in the modern uh, day era. Right. So could you think that they would keep Brock Lesnar on as far as holding the title to break that record just to kind of relinquish his name ever being there? It could be Drew. We had a guy call a little while ago. You probably didn't hear him. He kind of was ask, saying a similar type of deal. The guy was from Chicago area, Illinois, wherever he's from. I, I don't know, Drew. I mean, it could be. I would be surprised, and thank you, Drew, for calling. I don't think Vince, like, I know he doesn't like CM Punk, and that's cool, but I don't know if he gets hung up in that 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 type thing with the, how long a guy's been champ. You know, with the New Day, they extended it, so they broke the record of, I'm drawing a blank who they, who they broke the record on, but... I don't think Vince, from what I know, working with Vince and working for Vince, I should say, I I, I don't think that's Vince. Um, but it could be. I I don't. I just don't see Brock hanging around that much longer. I, like I said, I I don't. I, I think they they need a guy that's going to be on the road. I've been saying that for several years. They proved me wrong or not because uh, you know Brock Brock's got a great schedule. You know he works a very limited schedule, and God bless him. You know, I just, and I think he's earned that. Just, I don't know if you want to put the title on somebody. And I, and I love Brock, but I don't know if you want to put the title on somebody uh, like that. You know, I mean, meaning that a guy that's not working a full schedule because, you know, he's got all the things he's doing or maybe he's whatever.